I'm going to start the vlog here because it's all very exciting. All right. Hello. Plus, also, I just really wanted to show this at the very beginning because I'm obsessed with the new green SLA. But anyway, I've just arrived um, to a hotel in this way. In Pisa. Pisa. That's where we are right now. Um, it's a self check in hotel, which is very interesting. So, we kind of have to fend for ourselves. Ah. Like a hotel of the future. I know, everything was really cool downstairs. Oh, wow. Oh, it's lovely and cool in here. Crisps. Oh. That was weird. Oh, yeah. They must have known that we were coming. Oh, yeah, that's huge. It's quite big. So many different rooms. Look at this bed. Trying to book a hotel in Pisa was actually really difficult. Um, but this one had been like newly refurbished and had great reviews. There's a balcony. So is there? There's a lounge. Bloody hell, there's a lounge. Giant. This room only cost me 200 quid. Why has it got like multiple rooms? Wait, are you sure that's a balcony? Well, yeah. Does it actually look out onto anything? It's huge, but it still counts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have to do this in the, um, to do this in the daytime tomorrow. Oh. We um, now need to go and find somewhere to get pasta. We've just arrived, it's quite late, but Apple, we are hungry. Lovely. Wow. This is a very interesting wallpaper. This <laughs> like this bathroom doesn't actually go with anything in um the rest of the hotel, but I like the uh <laughs> the, parrot. the parrot. Cockatoo even. Cockatoo, I knew you'd know. But anyways, I thought I would just, um, I know that was a really random, slightly rushed start to this vlog, but this green set is launching 26th of August. Um, it's got matching sweatshirt, joggers, zip up hoodie, you name it. It's got it, it's very exciting. One of the reasons, I mean this is very cute, they've left us a little gift, but one of the reasons that Joe and I are so excited about being in Tuscany is because we are obsessed with Tuscan red wine and they've given us a little bottle to start off with. Which is very exciting. I know. A very shiny forehead. Um, so we're actually in Pisa because we are heading to a wedding. A wedding. To, well, another wedding. You would have guessed it, would you? Another wedding. Um, it's Joe's cousin's wedding this time. It is. Big family wedding. Um, and it's in the Tuscan countryside, which I'm really excited about because I want a Tuscan wedding. Yeah. Yeah. No, I think you mentioned that. Just gonna keep actually. dropping hints. Um, so I'm excited to do one to, you know, just so it's like. confirm the fact that I'm sure I'm gonna love it. Drink some Tuscan wine. Yes, and eat lots of pasta. Um, yeah, and then we're gonna do two nights in Florence after that. So we're gonna do a bit of Pisa, a bit of Tuscan countryside, and then Florence. So hopefully we're gonna be able to give you guys lots of different recommendations. We've got a little car, so we're just gonna zip around. Yeah, so anyways, first things first. Pasta. Yeah, we're, we're enjoying the vibes. We just literally stepped out and it's just like this. I mean, exactly. just love Italy. It's my favourite place. Exactly what we need. Yeah, just starting with being quite basic, but I mess with the classic, you know? That looks so good. Oh, that's so good. Pasta. Yum. I love how they just give it. So we would have vlogged dinner as in like of us, but it was very intimate. Typical European summer vibes where the tables are very close to each other. It was intimate. The setting was lovely. It was like... It's just what we needed. Yeah, it was really nice. The food was unbelievable. I've converted Joe to... Um, what's the pet? What was the pasta called? Pet? God knows. That's just cheese for heaven, cheese basically. Cheese and pasta was not to like. Yeah. Um, so yeah, vibes. It was exactly what we needed. Had my glass of Chianti. Tuscan Chianti. I'm very happy. It was delicious. Yeah, it was lovely. It's a four minute walk back. The moon tonight is an absolute joke. So apparently this is a super moon and it's the last one for a while. So I've said to Joe, he thinks I'm probably a little bit weird that we have to ask the universe for something because apparently this is the night to do it. So, but you have to say it out loud. If you ask the universe, law of attraction, you have to actually say out loud to the universe what you want. So I hope you know what you're going to say because I'm going to make you say it. Oh okay, well you have to say universe and then say what you want. So we had a slightly dramatic wake up this morning because someone <coughs> set the alarm an hour ahead because he thought we were an hour behind despite the fact that he's come to Europe how many times? I didn't think that, I was just sleeping. <laughs> 
<laughs> so we woke up, checkout was actually at 10. Woke up and I roll over and I went to Joe, what's the time? Joe goes, oh, it's like five to 10. I was like, what? <laughs> so we've had a very, very quick morning. You can imagine the scenes. Anyway, um, now we, so we don't really have time to do any of this because the maid's literally waiting outside the room, but we're gonna go out and about um, and we're gonna go find the Leaning Tower of Pisa before we pick up. Yeah, Joe's desperate to get the photo, you know the one before we pick up the hire car um, to do a drive, but I thought I'd just give you a quick little outfit of the day. You know, surely we've got time for that. There isn't actually any full-length mirror, so I'm trying to use this bathroom one. So I'm actually wearing the new um, SLA Mykonos shirt in white satin, which I've just tied around the back and like bunched it up and um, put a hair tie around it and tied it up, like flipped it up on itself, if that makes any sense. Um, just so it's got a bit more of like a crossover style at the front. Some little denim shorts going for a slight casual driving slash having a quick look around Pisa outfit. And then I've just got on some black flip flops. And these sunglasses are the naked fashion ones and my hoops are from ASOS. So yeah, so this is me today. Here we go. We're coming up to something that looks quite exciting. It's definitely getting busier and busier. It's getting busier. Well, this looks, I don't know. We're just gonna see it. Wow. I don't know. All oh, right. Hello. It's just right there. I just stumbled across it. I mean. Why is there three things together? Why is it what? No tourism in Diesel. Just put three things around. This is it. They're all. Hold up. Like five seconds. Agreed. It's uh, very easy to get around. Where does it lean from? You have to stand over there. Oh god. I'm about to get the greatest tourist photo of all time. You are buzzing about that. I am. We're going to see some people attempting the photo. This is so good. There we go. A few fingers in the air. That's how you know you're in Pisa. <laughs> Look, this guy. Oh my god, it's like he's nearly. It. He's, like, he's holding it up. It's like everyone's doing a dance nice. routine. <laughs> oh, another one. Another one just standing in front of the van holding his arm up. Yeah, nice. <laughs> you got it, buddy. You got it. It, does, it needs a bit more enthusiasm, this bloke. <laughs> you can't just Look at all of these people. guys. Oh, there's the lean. There it is. Just completed it. Do you want one? No. Are you sure? I am sure. I'm really sure. It's pretty good. I've seen it. That's that's all I need. It's to probably. Do. And I've seen you do the leaning picture yeah. alongside everyone else, so I feel content. It's probably the best one anyone's taken today. <laughs> Definitely. Is it? Why are we so dark? What's going on there? Yeah. So I mean, I guess that's like the main thing you do in Pisa. Coffee. Now. coffee. Let's crack on. Yeah. It's a delightful little walk through Pisa. All the streets are so nice. Little tower. Bell tower. Go on. Hmm. Enjoying it? Very hot. <laughs> Very warm. I like this thing. Hmm? I like this bell tower. Very pretty. So I'm trying to work out what of these pastries I want. I'm using this Google app that I was telling you guys about last time. And look, they've got something that's called cute pastries. So I want to I want to order it just because I want to know what a cute pastry is. And it sounds great. I'm not entirely sure what the rest of them are. Like strawberries with cream. How's that? Do you think it's like a strawberry tart? Yeah. Interesting. I'm just gonna get a classic awesome. Yeah. Nice. So I ordered the mini pastry. Joe, do you want to do the honours? This is Joe's croissant. This is my mini pastry. It's actually ideal because it's the perfect size because we're about to have lunch in like 45 minutes. But I thought it was a cute little addition to my. Actual well, it is a cute pastry. That's what it was called. So very happy with that. <laughs> Guys, you know what's really exciting? Our ice coffees have arrived. And they've come like this, so we're getting the strangest looks from people that look like we've ordered an espresso martini at half past eleven in the morning. And to be fair, it would be something we would yeah, do. I was gonna say, we wouldn't put it past us. <laughs> also, Joe has just said that this croissant is the best croissant that he's ever 
pounds. So, big statement. It is actually unbelievable. I don't understand why what they've done to it. So good. It's got like, it tastes like it's filled with something, but it's not. It's just the pastry is like sweet. I don't know, basically it's unbelievable. This is the name of the coffee shop that we've come to, by the way. Just literally stumbled across it, but it's in this sort of archway underneath all the buildings. This iced coffee is unbelievable. That mini pastry thing, I mean, it's, it was, was yeah. We had half each, and it was like a pistachio roll, but like really small, filled with this like, what was it, pistachio custard? Yeah. Unbelievable. Just, and this. Sure. I mean, I'm a, I'm a real glass person. Like, I think the glass that you drink something out of makes it taste different. So this tastes unbelievable because of the... It's a lovely glass. Yum. <laughs> so the cute pastries were so good that we've actually ordered four more. <laughs> so Dude we wanted to choice. try them all. Yeah, we said you can just pick for us. So I don't know what they are, but they look delightful. They are cute. They are cute. <laughs> We're making our way to lunch, crossing the river. Beautiful. Very nice indeed. Managing to see quite a bit, aren't we? We are. Great. Doing a full tour of uh, full tour of it. Turns out it's more than just the Leaning Tower. Trying to get all of this. So. Trying to get as far away from like the tower as possible for like food because it's normally better when you're further away from the tourist attraction. Yeah. So we found our lunch setting. It's so nice. It's glorious. Just a quick little Google. Went on to Culture Trip, which is my favourite website to find restaurants when I'm away. And just came up. And it's in a very cute little piazza. piazza. Square. Said it was good for charcuterie boards, which you don't have to ask me twice to eat one of those. Uh -oh. And pasta. So the that dream looks really so smells. good. That's what it's called. It's called uh, Restaurante Tora Tora. My dream meal has arrived: spaghetti with clams. This is like the best thing ever. Now the glass of Chianti, obviously. Joe's got. What have you got? Uh, I don't know. I think it's tortellini. Oh, nice. It looks delightful. <laughs> so we have picked up our hire car and we are officially heading off to the wedding. Day one today is just typical pre-wedding drinks before ceremony tomorrow. Um, yeah, we just I feel like we have been to so many weddings now that we know perfectly how weddings work. We know the setup. We do. We know the procedure. <laughs> yeah. It's like the nice little calm before the storm tonight and then everyone just gets super lit tomorrow. Um, it's basically normally how it goes. Um, but we've got a very interesting car that we've actually just picked up. It's called a, a Lincoln Co. Yeah. It's like a German car. It's very high tech. It's got, uh, hang on, let me turn around. It's got one of these sort of situations in it and every single time you turn around. Can I show the indicator? I don't think it will. No, I think you actually. <laughs> it does some really weird thing, which I'm not entirely sure is really needed. Yeah, it's distracting. It is actually very distracting. Um, yeah. Well, anyway, but I had to get the camera out because we went into a petrol station and I saw these. Now, the Aussie in me almost died because I was like, "This looks like cheese twisties, but Italian." Um, I think Joe says that it says something about cheese at the top. What's it called? Fromaggio. Fromaggio. So, and it looks exactly the same, uh, shame, the same as cheese twisties. So I'm gonna um, open them up. I can only do this with one hand because I'm holding them. Sorry. That's okay. <laughs> oh wait, then. Oh my god, I feel like. Oh my god, it's literally a cheese twisty. <laughs> What's a cheese twisty? Are they Australian? Yes. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Oh my god. Potentially not quite as cheesy, which is a little bit sad, but. It's surprising as well. They taste with exactly the same texture and the same shape and everything. Although chicken twisties are unbelievable. So it's a bit sad they don't do the chicken flavour. You would love oh. the chicken flavour. Like a chicho. No, but like chicken flavoured twisties are unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. Um, anyway, but yeah. So. This is our road trip snack and I'm actually buzzing about it. So, <laughs> Hello. we 
we've got a lot to fill you in on really but we're currently standing in a lovely town that we've stumbled across because we got up very early this morning um six o'clock actually to be exact so early so early um <laughs> very hot very hot we're staying in <laughs> let's just rewind so we arrived to the place yesterday i'm gonna put in some videos here that i took last night just the vibes the vibes um but obviously because it is as I've, i always say this i feel like whenever it comes to weddings i can't overly vlog too much because it's Right. not really a vlogging situation but this morning we've woken up and we wanted to find somewhere for coffee so we've come to this lovely town which i will put where we are um but i've just got to show you guys the view that we're looking at it's right really now. just coming alive we arrived and nothing was open and now <laughs> there's just people everywhere we basically just got very excited because we feel like we stumbled across you know when you're just a well yeah, and you do little random things and then you find unbelievable gems there's only italians here there's we well, stick out like a sore thumb yeah we actually do literally genuinely everyone here is like fully like there is no tourists whatsoever there was only old people for a long time but we've discovered that there are actually like different generations but... yeah but anyways look at this view <laughs> this is what the town looks out onto it is unbelievable. There's like a market that's going on over here. It's like a painting. It's a walled, it's like a walled town. Um, all behind there is like where we've just been for coffee. And yeah, I just can't believe that this is, we were just saying there's these houses here that like clearly people's homes. I was like, imagine that is what you wake up to every day. I'm thinking of. Uh, I'm gonna go wine so tasting fun, today. Fun a vineyard, just get absolutely lit before the wedding. Because <laughs> the wedding's not till five, and I was like, I want to go wine tasting because I'm having the best time in the home of my favourite wine. I've literally had so we drank so much red wine last night. It was actually like Joe fully woke up and had like black teeth, and, like stained. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's it's so, having a great time. <laughs> This view just keeps getting better. We've walked around, the market goes all the way along. But like, it's... Good Lord. Oh, <laughs> Glorious. Look, so we were over there before, but like, yeah, it's oh. insane. It's like market goes all the way along. So we just decided to walk down it. So two very hungover sausages. Uh. We are feeling worse for wear. This one more so than me, because you really sent it last night. <laughs> Don't think I've actually ever seen Joe as drunk as I did. As we learn something new about each other every day and I learned last night that I thought I'd seen you the drunkest I'd ever seen, but no, you outdid yourself. Drunkest I've ever been? Yes, last night. Wow. Easily. Easily. Nailed it. Even everyone there was saying it was drunk as they've ever seen you. But anyway, we are in Florence. We've just arrived. It's actually great because it was only a like 30 minute drive from where we were staying in the hills in Tuscany. So, um, dream. Anyway, so now we can actually get back to proper vlogging because, you know, we're not doing family wedding vibes. We're just doing Joe and Sarah take Florence for two days. Um, anyway, so I just checked into our hotel and it is beautiful. Like, it's so nice. I actually booked this because the whole thing had been like newly refurbed about six months ago so the whole thing's like brand new and it feels it and I, I do say this often but there is actually nothing better than a new hotel i love when i feel like i'm the first person to like sleep in a bed it's just I'm a bit weird like that aren't i joe yeah. <laughs> um so i'm gonna give you a room tour so you come in this is the bed this is joe this is me. <laughs> uh. i think he's actually still drunk to be honest you're quite the mood right now though. Uh, but look how high the ceilings are though. Such, such high ceilings. Um, and they've got all these like really beautiful like panelling and details on the wall. Um, TV sort of vibes over there. Massive floor to ceiling windows which I just absolutely love. It's not got overly exciting view out here but I'll just show you anyway. Just looks out onto a street. And then this is the bathroom which is lovely. It's got a nice big round mirror. And also, I really enjoy the fact that these are the complimentary shower gel pots. Like, that's really bougie. They're like quite substantial. So, yeah, bathrobes, always a must. I also love that everything here is personalised with the initials of the hotel. So, um, yeah, so we're going to get ourselves ready, aren't we? And head. Food. But I will just add in here, because I know I said I'd do a little bit of vlogging when we were actually in the vineyard land 
the Winelands, um, that we went to the vineyard. I was like really lost. My, I'm really, basically I'm a shell of a human today, so I apologise if what is coming out of my mouth doesn't make any sense. Um, we went to an unbelievable vineyard, didn't we? Yeah. It was like, basically we went out for lunch with Joe's mum and dad, and we were like, should we just go wine tasting at half past 11 in the morning and stumbled across this, Oh, it's police cars. Oh, it's, not, it's not needed in my head. I thought that was in my head. <laughs> it's like, am I now hearing things? Um, anyway, so we stumbled across this vineyard and it was like a mixture of Thunderbirds and a James Bond villain house. It was the most insane architecture I've ever seen. Brilliant. I'll put in some videos here if you can see the vibes. But if you come to Tuscany, 100% recommend going because the wine was unbelievable. We had the red wine and the sparkling wine. Yeah. Is it Prosecco or is it sparkling wine? Sparkling wine. Because then everyone was saying that Tuscany is famous for Prosecco as well, so I'm a bit confused. Ooh. Anyway. But really good, highly recommend. Um, but yeah, so I thought I'd just mention that because genuinely it was like nothing I've ever seen. And it's a must must visit, I would say. It was called Antinori. There we go. Nailing it. By the Antinori family. I feel like it got really bad. Like I just haven't, I think, I've had about six hours sleep over the last three days. Joe's had about six minutes. <laughs> anyway, right, I'm actually gonna sort my life out now. And um, take my swimming costume off and get ready for drinks, for more drinks, for more alcohol. We've come to a restaurant in a square. Joe and I are both literally so knackered. <laughs> we literally just found the first restaurant we could find and sat at it. Um, we're having some bruschetta and some deep fried brie with truffle, which to be fair, it's a vibe. The square is also quite cute, but we were just too exhausted to actually do anything. We did a bit of a walk and then we were like... Yeah, we were like, we'll save our top recommendations for tomorrow. There's a really cute little saying on the floor. You know me, I love my quotes. Every step I've taken in my life has led me here now. Cute. <laughs> Good morning from Florence. Right, I'm feeling a lot more alive today than I was yesterday. <gasps> Honestly, I feel like we have been away so much this summer, but I was laughing with Joe because all of the times we've been away, they've been for weddings, that I feel like I've spent so much of this summer hungover. It's just slightly killing me inside. Um, anyway, so this is my outfit of the day. I've got on this little white top, which is from Dolls Kill, I think. Um, some vintage, oh, it's a bit too high, vintage Levi shorts. And then I've got on these very cool loafer shoes which are from ASOS. These were really cheap, they were like 30 quid. Bit of like a Prada loafer tube, so I really like these. Um, hat is from Offbeat. And my Chanel bag, so this is me for the day, off to explore Florence. Yeah, we don't know much about the sparkling wine, so. Fortunately, we have more choices. Yeah. Yeah. In the Mercato Central. That's where our first stop is, because everyone's been saying it's the best place in the So, we came straight down to cool down actually and have some French accord. It's really hot. It's so hot. It's very humid. We're going to warm ourselves up with these drinks and then start eating our way around the market. I think. Yeah. This place is good. We've almost finished our drinks and we are thoroughly loving this spot. So I highly would recommend. Does it highly would? Does that make sense? I highly recommend. I would highly recommend. Um, but I just love the setting in here. It's got. I feel like I want to buy this. This section over here is exciting me beyond belief because it's a whole section for just Tuscan counties. Yeah. New spot or more alcohol? A bit of a long, long time, but it's worth it. But guess where we have come to? Have you seen it yet, by the way? Huh? Have you seen it? Yeah, it looks unbelievable. Look at this. I mean, that is a truffle dream if I've ever seen one. The restaurant's called... Well, Tattoo Falls. And this literally is heaven and it smells unbelievable. Like, I'm so excited. And I also really love that everything's on like paper plates and like plastic cutlery. It's just... No menu. No menu. They're just like, we do truffle pasta. I'm like, great. Sign me up. <laughs> This is the best truffle pasta I have ever eaten. It's incredible. Like, it's unbelievable. 
I mean, big bits of trouble. everything after this is just going to seem basic. Rubbish. So you've got to come here and you've got to order the traditional. They do a carbonara and then they do this one, but this is definitely the way to go because it's. Although this plastic fork and the spaghetti twirling is tough. tough, but we're getting there. Yeah. Oh, oh good. <laughs> oh good. This place is fantastic because you know what you can do? You can walk around with your drink. So you can go to a bar, get the drink you want, and then just walk around with it, which I think should be more of a thing. So we're ending it all with a cannoli. There's a lot more we could have eaten. Though, I know, um, we really had to restrain ourselves because we also need to get to the cathedral. So we need to retire. see some more of those. I'm on the first yeah. bite. It's very full. It's very full. Good. Glorious. Mm. This is the whole place just absolutely buzzing. People eating food and being happy. Good. So we have made it. Actually, it is really quite spectacular <laughs> i know do you know like we wonder what it's gonna look like and it is insane so is this a cathedral yeah cathedral di santa maria i'm excited to see it from the front as in like once we get around this because it looks insane okay wow it is literally stunning what a spot. Here we are. Here we are. We've made it. Right to this spot. It looks very well. It's very busy. It's also, I'm literally, like, there is sweat dripping from everywhere. Like, <laughs> the real reality of Florence is that it is hot. But it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, Jinx. Nice cool. <laughs> so you won't believe what we've decided to do. Have a pit stop for a drink. In another restaurant that looked very cute. And another glass of prosecco. Wine. Walk past there and it looked like the kind of place that we wanted to hang out. Wine tasting and charcuterie boards. Cheers. Cheers. Back with one of these, my dream. I just love that in Italy it's acceptable to eat number one a lot of food, but also to just stop off and have one of these every time you decide to have a drink. Who's lounging? Just chilling. Well, it is very just hot. Chilling, yeah. It is rather warm. It's, you know, everything everyone's just trying to stay somewhat cool. We're going to go and see the bridge now, guys. Apparently, that's the next landmark that we have to go and see. So, we've got our tourist hats on. We're just exploring, stopping okay. off with wine and food. I did just say to Jojo, the, oh my god, I've. Tomlin's had too many glasses of Prosecco. <laughs> that definitely didn't come out like that. Um, I did just say to Jodo. Jo oh my God, I can't say it. My name's Jo. Jo. <laughs> Jodo. I did just say to Jo. Jodo. Jo that. Breeze. This weather makes you just want to sit still and eat and drink. So maybe that's why the Italians are doing it so well because they just know that when it's hot, just sit still. And uh, drink and eat. Out. Oh, this is pretty. Okay, this is actually very nice. What well, the restaurant? Yeah. Yeah, it's lively. This is it. It's all really going on here. Florence is actually so pretty. Yeah. It actually started to rain in Florence. There was like some weird thunderstorm moment, so we came to a rooftop to, weirdly enough, avoid the rain, which I know sounds really weird, but it's actually enclosed. But I would highly recommend it's above a hotel and the view is insane. Look at this. Got myself another glass of the sparkling wine they do because it's so good. And we're just looking out onto the view of the river in Florence. And it goes all the way around, yeah. It's actually like 360 views. It's amazing. We'll have a look at the other side afterwards. Yeah. But it's such a good spot. I would highly recommend. It's called um, Sisto. Siesto. 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 S E S T O. It's great. Dinner with some fluff. Um, <laughs> you can tell I've had a couple of glasses of wine. This is my outfit with denim jeans. This is Joe's outfit. Hello. Hello. 
We're going to a rooftop for dinner tonight. Yeah. Final night. I mean, we have literally been here for no time at all, but we thought we'd end it in a rooftop because mm. apparently this place is lovely. It's and fun. the sky has cleared. It has. No more thunderstorms. It looks good. And I am excited. Fine. We've arrived at our venue somewhere up there. It's actually part of this hotel, but we're going to there. And look at this view. It is so nice. I also love that the tables are inside and not outside because it is very warm. So this is actually lovely to be there. There's literally a thunderstorm going on outside. So this is quite the spot. And Joe also loves a thunderstorm. So you're probably getting very excited the fact that you're about to watch lightning hit Florence. I mean, God, it really is coming in. I know this is ideal. <laughs> this thunderstorm is really coming down now. But it's actually so cool. It's like something I never thought I'd wanted to watch while I was having dinner, but it's actually really <laughs> Joe's best for us. It's so good. It's, so I mean, cool. I know it's actually really intense, but it's very cool. It's a big one. Oh my God, the, th the lightning is actually getting crazy. Number one, I'm having gnocchi. Joe's having ravioli. He's also, I'm <laughs> sorry, but I really don't want to dub you in, but I've got. <laughs> Please can I show you? <laughs> Do you take, take the napkin away. <laughs> <Let's> go. <laughs> Joe's doing a barman impression here because it's fine. Actually, if for me, you can't really tell. No one will notice. No one will How will they know? How will no, they know? <laughs> Course so number two is a little rack of lamb. We actually went for the same, didn't we? Yeah. Unlike us, we normally get Yeah, we do like to get something different and share it, but you'll all be pleased to know that the thunderstorm is still very much happening and actually potentially getting even more crazy. <laughs> okay, this looks incredible. What did you get? I can't remember. Semi-fredo. Semi-fredo. Which is a parfait. I got tiramisu. It actually is one of my favourite desserts. It's kind of like Marmite. You either love it or you hate it, but that looks unbelievable. Last day we in Italy. Checking out, but because we have to check out, we're up early enough to sit for breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> um, but it's so nice out here. The actual it's hotel the itself is really nice. Unbelievable scenes. So nice. Yeah, it's got like... I was literally woke up this morning, didn't I? I said to you, I was like, I just love this hotel. It's got yeah. such a nice vibe to it. It really does. Yeah. We've got our coffees, a couple of pastries. Highly recommend. It's a lovely temperature. I also shape. love how for breakfast every single day since we've been here, we've had a iced coffee or shaker. What are they called? Shaker up. Checkerato. Checkerato. And pastries. Yeah. I could really get used to this Italian lifestyle. <laughs> yeah. It's quite nice. So good. <gasps> This hotel's also got the most insane staircase. It's just so pretty in here. I love it. Um, where are we going now? This way? Back to our whip. We're now driving to Pisa, which is where we're getting the flight from. So this is slightly random, but I went to um, Brandy and Melville yesterday when I was in Florence, obviously, because that's where I am. Um, and I bought one of these, you know, the like crop top things, this one, that apparently it's the one that Hayley Bieber wears all the time. I put it on this morning and it is the best fitting white crop top I've actually ever put on. Like the cut of it and everything is just so nice. So if um, you pass a brand new Melville at any point, I would highly recommend going in and um, getting one. Cause yeah, I'm just like in love with the fit. I know it's so simple, but it's perfect. Unbelievable scenes at the airport. I mean, who doesn't want a plate of pasta before their flight? I mean, this is the dream. Okay. He's at airport, do you admit? Yeah, I'm not entirely sure what they are. It's like a creamy coffee thing, but it looks... Is it nice? Just like a creamy coffee thing. It's really thick. Is it like an ice cream? Yeah. It looks great. I mean, this is the dream, really. Yeah. Ellie, are you helping me edit? No, you say you're not. You're not. But... Twiglet is, no. Twiglet's just being... Oh, sorry, Nelly. Nelly's just... What are you actually doing? Anyway, um... <laughs> I, as always, didn't film an ending. I'm the worst at that. Like, I need to be better. I do. Don't I, Twigs? 
Um, so, but I'm gonna, at least it got you guys in it. That was a, that's a nice excuse, isn't it, to finish yeah. it with you two. But I'm gonna end this vlog. I hope you enjoyed watching. I will put any information below of like restaurants or link to their websites that we went to because everywhere we ate was really good and that m central market in Florence was unbelievable, wasn't it? So good. So good. Um, but yes, we are actually, our next trip away will be to Milan. Mm. Milan. Milan and Lake Como for another wedding. Um, so we'll be able to show you around there, which is exciting. So we'll see you in that one, but I'll see you guys can very we, soon. Can we just get some early appreciation for this? What's your doing right now? What's she doing? <laughs> you say bye-bye. 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 Thanks for watching. And you.